seniors today were born, uh, you know, in that year of the 9-11 attacks. And, um, and now here we are with something else, you know, that's so, um, so big and life changing. The high school senior class of 2020 facing a time of uncertainty with school being out potentially for the rest of the year. News 9's Alex Taylor has more and she spoke with seniors and their parents who shared exactly what they're going through. Born amid chaos. I was born in 2001. A changing time in our nation, one that parents of newborns will never forget. It does um, connect. I mean, it was a major tragedy then and it could be now. It's extremely overwhelming. I mean, I've, I've watched these kids go through everything to try to make it to where they are. Those same parents now proud of their accomplished soon to graduate seniors. My name is Brooke Anderson and I'm a senior at Wheeling Park High School. Hey, my name is Logan Gillette. I'm a senior at St. Clairsville High School. My name is Sarah and I'm a senior at Oakland High School. My name is Mackenzie Deeks and I'm a senior at Cambridge High School. I'm Maggie Woods. I'm a senior at Cambridge High School. I'm Alexis Wilkinson. I'm a senior at Cambridge High School. I'm Kirsten Bishard and I'm a senior at Cambridge High School. My name is Teddy Kinsey and I'm a senior at Beaver Local High School. My name is Juliana Morris and I'm a senior at the JVS. My name is Hope Lewis and I'm a senior at Martin Stray High School. But their time was cut short, suddenly and without warning, with a fear of the unknown that's similar to 19 years ago. I, I want for her to experience all, all of the happiness all of the, you know, the, the joy that we did and, uh, and, you know, you never, we just never saw this coming. I mean, even a month ago. Many of them fearing missing out on the obvious graduation, academic banquets. At first I was like, wow, no school for three weeks. But now it's like, wow, no school for three weeks. It's my senior year and I can't spend it with the friends or maybe not even go to prom. We're all like a family and this is our last year together. Some seniors like Teddy prepping to break track records in her last season. We thought this is, you know, we're right on track. We're tenth of a second from a couple um, records to begin with at the start. All of a sudden, just last week, you know, we had all these high hopes, and then, then it's, then it's, you know, it could potentially be gone. Others like Hope was scripting her valedictorian speech for graduation. If I do get to give a graduation speech, there are so many things that I could talk about. Opportunities that may never come. How are these kids going to do their future if they don't graduate, if they don't get their certificates from Votech that they've worked so hard for? I don't know how this is going to turn out, but I just hope that they get to walk on that stage to get their diploma. Many of them now counting on this time to be a turning point in their lives as they continue to face the unknown. No matter what happens, it's like the choices that adults are making are for the best of us. I know everything happens for a reason. It'll work itself out. You know, I just feel for the people who are actually, you know, affected by the virus. From 9-11 until, like, coronavirus 2020, like, maybe we'll learn from this. Reporting for News 9, I'm Alex Taylor.